Today we'll be seeing how to interface a DMX shield, which is normally used for uh, an Arduino Uno, into a uh, node MCU. That's these guys here. Um, these are, uh, you can see the That's what we have there, and it doesn't take much. It's just uh, four wires, uh, ground plus five, an enable to enable or disable the board, and uh, a signal with the data, which is transmit only. It has got a receiver, but today I'm just using transmit to send commands along the DMX cable to the RGB light here. So here's the DMX shield working fairly rapidly. The shield just needs um, a few wires. It's only in transmit mode at the moment. So it just needs zero and plus five volts, plus an enable, which is tied high, and the data. Here you can see the, the data coming into the digital storage oscilloscope. And uh, that's coming straight out of D4 on the node MCU, then runs through the DMX cable and up into the unit. So here you can see the, the circuit board. Um, we have the, the DMX shield, which has a transmit and a receive socket on it. Normally this would sit on top of an Adreno Uno because it's a, a shield so those pins go directly on top of it but because I haven't got a, an Uno I decided to use a Node MCU and in fact even though it has all these pins it only uses a few of them and so all I had to do was um, connect up ground and plus five which I'm taking from the, the V the VU pin there, the VU pin is plus five, the ground is the G beside it, so that powers up the shield. Next we have to enable so there's an enable and a transmit data. Uh, the enable just goes over to um, plus three volts over here and the the data the tx data uh, then comes from here from the the d4 pin So that's it. If we uh, all we have to do then is plug in the the DMX light and plug in the the power. It's already been programmed, so that will just run through. If we scroll over to look at the whoops. Look at the light now. You can see that uh, every 10 seconds it will cycle through red, green, blue. So there it's on red for 10 seconds. Then it will go on to green for 10 seconds. And finally, after 10 seconds, it will go on to blue. OK, let's run through the code. So first I need to launch my uh, Adreno IDE. Uh, this has to be done from the command line on Linux in order to get the latest version. Um, there you see I'm running. 
And the reason you need the latest version is so in preferences you can add in your additional boards and here I needed to have the 8266 files, uh, board managers, so I can go in and select under tools the node MCU 1.0 module. Um, also the debug port isn't in at the moment, so if I plug in my node MCU under tools the debug port Oh, sorry, there he is. He is now selected USB 0. And then over here, I can kick off the serial monitor. What the code does is every 10 seconds, send a new command to the DMX LED lamp, choosing one of its primary colors. So here you've got um, three channels, uh, two, three, and four. First off for red, it sends max 255 to the red channel. Then 10 seconds later, it sends max to the green channel. And 10 seconds after that, it sends max to blue. And these 234 are actual addresses of registers within the DMX LED lamp. To set up the LED lamp, looking at the manual on page 18, it shows you what the dip switches are at the back and what they need to be set to in order to have this red, green, blue mode being controlled by the node MCU. And here you can see the actual dip switch is set with the DMX in cable plugged in. Okay, let's look at the code next. That's it running. And the code I got from this fella here I modified it slightly. Let's go full screen. So this code was based on this uh, code from this fella. If I click on the link, we go into his uh, GitHub repo. And then what we need to do is to download the zip file. So click on download zip, save the file. And I actually have it down under Makerspace. DMX shield and there's the file already saved so I won't do that but then in order to use that zip repo is you go into the sketch include library and add zip file and there all you have to do is go into the makerspace DMX shield and there and click OK to include it. Once you have done that you will then find that underneath um, file and examples you can go down to the library you have in included there and there we have the example code you, you can pull in so DMX send you can see is very similar to my code and that's what I based based my code on doesn't help too much um, so I like to have some debug I also like to know which target I've had this code running on so here I announce it and you also see that in the debug when the code runs um, after that so pretty much it initializes the DMX library, does a bit of printout, setting up the serial port at 9600 Bode. I tend to give it one second delay after that. On some devices, I've found that the printout can be a bit strange. So I give it a second to settle down. And then we go into the main loop. Um, I set a constant up here, which I can change. It's at 10 seconds at the moment, 10,000 milliseconds. And then it just goes down does a, a write to each. So then in the loop, it does the same thing three times. That is, it prints out what it's doing, sets the three channels, channel two, three, and four, updates, which sends the command out to the DMX LED lamp, 
and then delays for 10 seconds. Next it goes on, sets to green, as I said, freeze, then set to max 255, and finally it goes to blue and sets 4 to the max 255. So that's it. Um, we can see it being programmed now. I had problems before, so I've set on um, maximum debug on the compiling. Under preferences, show verbose output during compilation. Uh, I had some library issues, so that's kind of handy to, to have. OK, now it's coming down and it's flashing. 15%, 23%. I'll bring on our um, serial port window, which is slightly greyed out as the port is busy being used for programming. But now it's freed up. You can see there's a bit of garbage there when it initialises the serial output. And then it's running. 